Mystery keeps growing over the disappearance of a Putnam County man. The search now spans two states and includes three law enforcement agencies. Friends and family say the whole thing seems to them sinister. Investigators are trying to find 46-year-old Floyd Andy Parrish. He was last seen last Friday leaving Athens, Georgia after visiting family there. At this point, family members are not sure if he ever made it to his home in Interlochen in Putnam County. Adding to the mystery, his car was found abandoned here in the Jacksonville area. John LaForce's Ashley Harding is joining us now live from the Putnam County Sheriff's Office. She has talked with Parrish's family and friends. Ashley? Yes, Tom, a family member filed the missing persons report with Athens PD, but Putnam County Sheriff's Office is now spearheading this investigation. Family and friends say Andy Parrish has not come home, has not answered his cell phone. They are fearing the worst. I never thought we would be doing this. Wednesday afternoon, Barbara Sullivan and her friend Terry Kruger walked all along County Road 315. How about that? Is that too high? Putting up flyers and talking to people in the area. We appreciate you putting right. it up. This is all in hopes of finding their loved one, 46-year-old Andy Parrish. He got into Gainesville from I-75, and he called his brother and said, well, I'm here safely, and I'm heading home. So he said, okay. And normally, he would have gotten to his house and called him. Sullivan says that phone call never came, and today, Putnam County detectives removed boxes of evidence from Parrish's home on Lakeview Court. This map will give our viewers an idea of what's known about Parrish's trip. Police say he left Athens around 5 o'clock Friday afternoon. That's nearly 400 miles from his home in Interlochen. But the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says Parrish's 2006 Ford Explorer was found on a residential street in the White House area 24 hours later. To my knowledge, he, uh, he wouldn't know anybody, especially on that side of town. Terry Kruger is Parrish's friend and supervisor at PCI Security. That's a flyer on him. He lived here in Interlochen. According to a missing persons report filed with Athens Police, Kruger called one of Parrish's family members and said, quote, Parrish was in trouble with some people and that he went to meet a woman and took $15,000 in cash and a bunch of guns. I asked Kruger what he meant by that. Andy had requested uh, his guns to be sold because he needed money, but uh, again, it wasn't communicated to me from Andy or any other source of what he needed the money for. The sheriff's office says to their knowledge, Andy Parrish has never been in trouble with the law. I really hope somebody's going to see this. In the meantime, his loved ones are working to spread the word. But as the hours and days push forward, they admit their hopes of finding him alive continue to diminish. Our family is, um, we're just trusting God with this, but we don't believe that he's still alive. Now, Andy Parrish was last seen wearing a black motorcycle jacket, a pair of blue jeans, black boots. He is said to be 5 foot 10 and about 170 pounds. He is said to have brown hair and blue eyes. Now, the Putnam County Sheriff's Office has not said if they suspect foul play, but they are asking for information. In this case, you can call them. That number is 386-329-0801. Reporting live, I'm Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.